after about eight years, I came back to Trivandrum. I started a flower shop and a nursery of plants. Then slowly, I switched on to making artificial flowers, because and that became a passion for me. I started experimenting with the different materials to make flowers. I I experimented with soap, toilet soap, ceramics, cloth, different variety of cloth and actually it was dress materials then uh, I started making flowers with bread and so many and my last experiment was making flowers with rice and it came out very well and I am so happy. Lots of uh, this thing, uh, waste materials and actually I always like to experiment with waste materials. Without wasting them we can turn that into something art. Actually I experiment with so many materials. Even now I experiment, keep on experimenting. Some will come out very nicely, some will be a drawback. Started when I was in school. I used to make so many different materials and I used to participate in the YMCA annual exhibitions and I used to get prizes. Then during my college days I switched on to paintings. I experimented with so many paintings and did uh, four or five shows. And uh, four years back I did one ex uh, exhibition of my paintings, Madhubani and Varli paintings. That I used materials from nature. Yeah, Madhubani it's uh, from Orissa, Orissa and Bihar and all that. So I took all the natural materials. I um, used cow dung, then milk, then extract some, some fruits and flowers like that. Then in Varli painting, I used mud, cow dung and without using brush I used this broomstick. They also do the same thing, traditional. So it was a very, actually I enjoyed that. And I did one exhibition and it came out very well. Madhubani and Warley paintings are raw works. Actually they are done by the poor people for their livelihood. And uh, during the festival season actually they decorate the house with this mud and cow dung and uh, all these materials. So mural, our mural means actually it is a kind of traditional rich work and uh, you have to learn how to paint mural. But this, uh, these paintings are actually primitive works. This year I am planning one exhibition of my flowers. More than paintings, I like uh, craft works because in painting you have a limitation. In uh, this craft means you can experiment with any material and you can come out with any kind of work. Actually for about 15 years I have been doing this flowers. I have written three books on flower making and I did so many workshops in different parts of India. For 12 years I did not teach anyone because uh, it was my complete techniques, my own techniques. I did not uh, learn from anywhere. So for 12 years I kept it as a secret. Then I started teaching students, I gave workshops, then I wrote three books on flower making. First book was made of, uh, it actually it was a report of a workshop I did in Bangalore. The theme was how to make flowers with dress materials. So it was a huge success. I had lots of students, then I gave a report. And that report I made it into a book. You use all kind of dress materials, georgette, chiffons, uh, velvet, satins, so many things. Second book was um, flower making. Then I experimented with some of the ceramics and all that. That was my second book.
Then the other things are just my passion to create something with soap and bread and all that. But uh, when you make flowers out of dust materials, it will come out very natural. You won't be able to distinguish the natural with the just thing. I have never given a advertisement of my works. Because then uh, everybody will come to learn. But this means only those who are actually interested, they search and come. Even then I have plenty of students. Colors, I like yellow and blue the best. All types of yellow and all shades of blue. And, uh, mo and my paintings, most of them are yellow, brown and white. Most of will be yellow, different shades of yellow and brown, different shades of I experimented actually for about two years, I experimented with the rice and it did not come out well. Then I was very um, stern on the continuing my experiments and finally this year, uh, last year, around middle of last year it came out very well. Actually we waste lots of rice. This rice, we, I cook it a second time and smash it, add different chemicals. Then uh, with the hand we knead it, that's how it's done. My works are my own creative works. You won't find it anywhere. I just uh, think about it, think about my work and create my own things with my own ideas. So those who come here, they know that they will find something different from what you see outside. And uh, the, so many uh, people have bought my the material, this thing, my art from here, and taken it to different places in USA in England, in so many places. Most of them take my flowers. They will say they are travel so many places in the world, but uh, they haven't seen such, uh, I mean, you know, natural flowers, natural looking flowers anywhere. And that too with the thing, handmade. Machine made flowers, are, you, you can get it in so many, in Hong Kong and Singapore and all. You get so many different types of mission made flowers looking very natural. But handmade flowers you won't get it anywhere. They say that. I dissect the flowers, uh, dissect the leaves, study very nicely, then only I start my work. I am most, my mind is always on this craft and paintings and all that. Even when I go to sleep, I just think about making flowers the next, what all things I have to do the next day, and I fall asleep. Early morning I get up and first thing I will start uh, cutting and something, painting and all that. Most of my exhibitions are only flower, flower arrangements and uh, this year um, I am planning to do an exhibition with uh, about 12 I mean, mediums of flowers. I mean cloth, bread, rice, sugar, um, salt, like so many things, something different. It will be in October.